Welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, I'm going to continue the code of our recording piano functionality application. So switch back to Android Studio. So here in previous lecture, I have coded the start recording method. So now it's time to start the coding of our stop recording method. So I'm going to type private void stop recording. Stop recording method and instead of the stop recording, I am going to use a media recorder dot instead of the media recorder dot stop and then I am going to type media recorder again and then I am going to use media recorder and hit a tab key and then I am going to release. So I am going to stop after stopping the media recorder, I am going to release the media recorder, then I am going to set the media recorder to is equal to null. So that's all about the coding of stop recording. Now it's time to code the on record method. Now I'm going to create another method of type of private type that is a private void and it's the name of the method is on record. That method will accept one parameter of type boolean. And I'm going to specify the name of the variable as start. And instead of this, first I will check for the variable name. If there is a start, then I will open the block of code for if. I'm going to call the start recording method. Else, if it is not start, means if the start variable is not true, then I'm going to call the stop recording method. And I'm going to also check for the file name if recording number equals to 1, then I'm going to use a toast class of toast, I am going to create a variable of toast recording message is equal to toast. Instead of this, I am going to pass the context that is get application context and after that semicolon I need to specify the text. So I am going to type the song. Then again, I'm going to use a plus operator and I'm going to type 6 and plus. Then I'm going to type here saved. Then I'm going to make the length of the toast to short. And after that, end it with a semicolon. If recording number is not equal to 1, then I also need to show the recording message. So I'm going to type recording message dot show. If recording number is not equal to 1, then we need to check for the else condition. Then I'm going to create a variable. Then I'm going to create a variable of int type. And I'm going to call this variable as int temp recording number equals to recording number minus 1 after semicolon then I'm going to copy the same code here that is the toast line paste it here and so on and I will just need to remove here I need to specify the temporary 6 with 2 temporary recording number. So that's all about the coding of our on record method. Now it's time to came it's time to code the our on record method that we have specified as a click event of inside the record button. So here first I need to check I'm going to call the 
method on record and I'm going to specify the boolean variable values and start recording. Now after that I need to check for the condition if m start recording is means the recording is started then I need to set the record button text not return record button text I want to specify the set text to finish and after that in the else statement I'm going to again set the text to that is record and the record button dot set text and I'm going to specify the record after the end of this I'm going to write one more line of code that is m start recording is if it's not m start recording now this line of code is basically used to stop the recording if you not specify this line then you have no way to actually stop the recording means if the recording is started then with this line of code it will allow us to finish the recording when we tap on the button so now it's time to run the application so i'm going to run it on my virtual emulator so i'll simply hit ok so here you can see that our application is up and running so i'm going to allow all permission and we got all permission now i'm just simply going to click on this record button so you can see that our, now our recording is started so when i click on any piano case and I just simply click on this finish button again. So song one saved. So I'm also going to run this application on my physical device. Let me connect it first my physical device. So here I'm going to select my physical device that's running IPI level 25. I'm going to hit OK. So you can see that our application is up and running on my physical device as well. So I'm going to click on this record button. So you can hear the voice now i'm going to click on this finish button so song 2 is saved because i have already run the application once before this one now again i'm going to click on the record button and again i'm going to click on the face so song 3 is saved so our application is running fine so that's all about this lecture from next lecture onwards when we click on this play button so we want to play our music means the recorded music that we record with the use of this record button. So we are going to implement this feature in our upcoming lectures. So that's all about this lecture. Thanks for watching and I will see in the next lecture. Thank you.